YouTube, y'all probably can remember this helmet here back when I painted this one and another one just like it. This was the one that fell. I just never did do anything else to it, so I said I need to get back out here in the booth, so I need to paint something to get back motivated. Also, I could put out another video for y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix this and put a little custom paint on it. I had started peeling it back where it fell and started chipping up at. So, I'm trying to peel it all back. Then I'm gonna take my DA sander and I'm gonna feather edge all this in. Then I'm gonna prime it. But I'm gonna take you through the steps of doing it with me. I just wanted to show y'all how it looked before I start. Got a little scratch here, scrape. One at the top. Over up in here. But I think I done got all the pieces scraped back so I can feather edge it. I got my electrical porter cable, DA. I've been having it ever since I've been back doing auto body and paint. They ain't never let me down. It's a good one. I got a piece of 320 sandpaper on the DA. I think that ought to be good enough to knock it down. I started right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock all this down. Probably go ahead and sand it all back down and feather edge these little cracks. Just wanted to give you a look at it, show you the progress. I done all this with 320. You see where it's shining at? I gotta get some Scotch Sprite or some sandpaper and do that with my hand. I probably use some Scotch Sprite to do it. Plus up in here. I could have knocked it down with the 320, but it would have took me too long. I didn't even do this neither. I'm gonna get some 180 and do that. Go on the feather edge all that out. My 180 here. I'm gonna show you what I got going on. I done hit that with the 180. You can see where I feather edge to that. I went far as I can go up in here. I'm gonna have to get that with my finger. Went on to knock that down. The primer gonna fill up all them scratches. Also around here, I hit that with the 180. Up in here, I'm gonna do that with my finger. Also, all the way around up in there with my finger. Let me get that going, then I'll cut it back on progress on the feather edge. I got it all feather edge. I 
whole thing left with the sander is now getting the sky sprayed, getting all up in here, knocking the shining spots down. That ain't gonna take no time to do. I'm gonna use some red sky spray. I couldn't find my new box, it's somewhere out here. Maybe I'll find it once I get to moving all this junk around. I ain't been out here in so long. I misplaced it. But I'm gonna take this red sky spray and just go around all my edges. Building it out. Everything sanded down on YouTube. All the shiny spots knocked down. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put some 320 back on the DA. Then I'm gonna hit all the spots what I hit with 180. I'm gonna knock them 180 scratches down to 320. Then I'll be ready for some primer. I got the 180 scratches knocked down to 320. Now what you want to do, you want to get you a blow, a blower, and blow all this sand and dust. Blow it off the helmet before you start priming it. I'm ready for some priming now. When I start priming, I'm spreading these areas first. So I can build it back up to the original paint. I'm gonna spray about three coats in these areas. This is what I'm gonna be spraying the primer with. Set a jet. 1000B RP 1.3 tip Okay, I got it primed up now. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a guide coat on it. All I'm gonna use is this some old cheap black paint. Just wanna lightly spray it on it. Back and forth. Hey y'all, it's dried up now. Just wanted to give y'all a look at it before I start wet sanding. Let me take it down so I can show you something. See that line now? I'm gonna have to get that out when I wet sand it. 
It ain't gonna be no problem. Another spot right there. But all in all, it's gonna be pretty easy. Ain't gonna be bad at all. Little spot right there. But what I'm gonna do, I got my soap and water in a bucket. I got some 400 wet sandpaper. I'm gonna fold it up, get my soft sponge, put it in the bucket, and go to wet sand. Just back and forth, back and forth. What you're trying to do, you're trying to knock that guide coat down. So you don't see nothing but the gray primer. That's when you know you got it smooth. You gotta make sure you keep it wet though. That little spot there, I went below the primer, but that'll be okay. See that there? Let's show y'all this right quick. Y'all remember this where it was chipping up, where I peeled it back, where it was chipping up at? You see what that guy coat will do? It'll show you the low spots. So I'm gonna have to keep going down so I knock that black off. Then it'll be smooth. It's pretty much smooth now though, but you know it's low because it's got the little guy coat still on it. I don't understand. Well, for love it. I got it all wet, sanded, and wiped down. I'm gonna take the blow holes and blow it off to get the dust off. Then I'm gonna take a tack rag and tack it off before I spray the base coat. My base coat gonna be a so bright silver by all candy. So bright silver. And I'm gonna be spraying it out of this set of mini jet 4 to 400. HVLP. So bright silver. It mixes two to one, two part color, one part reducer. Make sure you mix it real good because the metallic's real heavy. coats of so bright silver laid down real good what I'm finna do now I'm finna get my tack cloth and tack it off because it got metallics laying on top of three coats from the overspray that fell back down onto the surface Take it off and get it real smooth. Then I'll be ready for my marble effect. Alright. I got it tacked off. What I was saying earlier, I'm going to do a marble effect. You could do it a couple of ways. Most folks do it like this. They put a black base coat. Then they come up with a gray top coat. Put plastic 
all over the top coat while it's still wet and hit it in with your hand or whatever then pull it up that'll leave a marble effect but I'm gonna do it a different way I went with a gray base coat then I'm gonna go with the black top coat but it's gonna be done different I'm gonna cut you back on in a minute and show you okay this is how I'm gonna do this marble effect I got some cheap spray paint from Walmart, 99 cents, that is all you need. And a plastic bag from Walmart also. What you want to do, ball it up, make sure you shake it up, and spray the bag, then just tap it like that. gonna give you like a marble effect. I'm gonna do that on the helmet. Put you back on when I get started. Got my effect down. It kind of look like real tree camouflage. What's coming next is the candy. I think I'm gonna put like four different colors of candy on top of this. I think it's gonna be four. It's gonna be orange, teal, blue, and maroon. I done decided which cups I'm going to use. I'm going to use my 3M PPS system cups. I was just going to use this small cup, but I would have had to keep on cleaning it out because I'm going with five different colors of candy. So let me mix up the paint and I'm going to cut you back on.
this drawing here is for the SR Pro or the start line. We're gonna copy the link, go over here and paste it. Search. Click start raffle. And the winner is Bosco the Pro. He wants the SR Pro. I see you still killing him on the wet wet, bro. Salute. All right, Bosco, send me your contact information and I'll get the gun out to you. Thanks, everybody.